Hi folks, welcome. Today is the 28th of July 2020. Um, in front of me I have this leech treadle wheel. It is for sale. If anybody's interested, give me a shout. These are probably going to be the last ones I'm going to be making, having made. Just so you know, I know I've said that in the past, but I think I'm getting serious now because the world is changing. So, okay, what are we doing? What are we doing? Well, actually what I'm going to do is show you. This is just a, a, like a Celadon lidded caddy. Probably thrown, I don't know, maybe around about a pound. A lidded form. I'm just going to show you how we do that. How to make one of those. Okay, let's go down to the wheel head. Dee, 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 dee. Okay, we'll start something like about there. Aye. So I have a lump of clay here. This lump of clay is actually 15 ounces, but it could be 16. It doesn't really matter the size because it's it the size is immaterial, really. I'm just trying to show you some technique here. So let's do it. Yeah, if anybody's interested in the wheel, and I have another wheel as well, a in a kit in a kit form. It's a little cheaper. Um, kit wheels are. 2200, 2200. That one which is finished will be 2400. Okay, so these are not really trimmed on the base, so they're quite a quick and easy to make. And you can make them, you don't have to make them, you can vary the proportions, you know, they haven't got to be exactly that proportion, it could be a little bit fatter and a bit more dumpy, or they could be a little taller, you know. So we're just doing what we usually do, going through the motions and just pulling up a, basically to start with, a cylindrical form. Getting down into the corner there, getting the clay up. So one of the reasons we go kind of wide initially And then, with each successive lift, we, we reduce that thickness, uh, width, I should say, in the base, diameter. It gets reduced, but you want to start wide, and, every, and each time you lift, you re, kind of reduce it, but lift the clay up. You get the clay then out of the corner, and also keep, 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 the, keep the form conical in the in the earlier stages of the making of the pot. Alright. Let's just check. We are... Are we in the picture? Are we in the picture? Whoa! Let's, hang on there. Let's just move it in a little bit. There, get a bit more detail. A bit, not too much. <laughs> we don't want it. We don't want you too close, do we? You might see my mistakes. <laughs> well, that's close now. Okay, so so we now. I I don't actually want this absolutely vertical, like a cylinder. You can see that this one is not exactly f vertical. It's, it's a little bowed in the side, isn't it? 
All right, that will do. Right, what we're going to do now is pay attention here. What we're going to do is we're going to narrow narrow in the top. using that technique like that which is a compression move isn't it we're compressing the clay over itself let's take our throwing stick we just clean it down the base there using the angle there of the throwing stick and now putting it in removing the clay there mate and, and checking in my rear view mirror over there now using my throwing stick up the side at an angle pushed away from me about like that that's what you want Okay, now let's concentrate here on the top. So, so this flange here, let's just close it right in and I'll show you. So as you can see there, I've closed that, closed that in quite a lot there. Using my throwing stick just here. That wasn't clever. I dug that in somehow on the side. Ignore that. <laughs> That's why I said I didn't want the camera too close. <laughs> just taking a bit of clay and just a bit of soft clay and just healing over that little wound that I inadvertently created. That's the nice thing isn't it about clay. It's, we can we can do that. Okay so now you see how I'm doing this? So initially I squeeze that in you see a lot. Well I don't want it as small as that. I'm going to open it out though now and I'm going to show you. So I'm going to take take your finger and turn it over like that. Now you're going to use the edge of your the edge of your nail here when it's upside down like that coupled with your finger on the inside I'm going to pull up the clay from the inside against my finger okay just watch all right so there it is you're determ determining now where I want to have it so I'm going to put it there and now I'm going to pull that up like that see what I did so that That now has created that flange, and that's about the right. Let us bring the camera in for a bit of detail. I know you like a bit of detail. <laughs> Okay, so the, the depth of that is probably three-eighths, three-eighths here, the depth of the flange, okay? I think we're looking at about three-eighths. Looking at a sideways view there. Okay, just wanted you to see that. La, 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 la. That okay. So at this stage, I just want to have a, a look in my mirror and make sure that I've got the sideways profile. As I want it, make sure we've got that undercut there, which we need for thumbing off. Right, what we're going to do next is leather, and then we're going to make the lid.
Okay, so when you're doing this, you want the the flange, okay, if I can use my hands to, as a, to, to demonstrate. You don't want it like that, okay? You, want, you don't want them dead straight either, just have it very, very slightly. I'm exaggerating, not as much as that, but do you see what I mean? That sort of, that, you want it like that, wider at, wider at the base of the flange than at the very top. Why is that, Simon? Well, you can get lids if they're tight and they stick and they're wider here than they are down there. It's just, it's just, it's just, it's just, just generally a bit better in my experience. All right, so, all right, the next thing you want to do before you cut off, all right, you want to take your pair of calipers and open them, now I'm using them this, in this fashion, measuring the distance across the top there. Alright, once I've done that, let's get a, a round back, we'll put these on a round back. Dee, 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 dee. Once we've done that, right now I think we're ready to to cut off, okay. Slow down the wheel. Always have the wheel going and went around when you're about to cut off. Always use a twisted cutoff wire, okay? And now we're gonna go like that. Right, now we can stop the wheel. Clean hands. We're gonna palm it, palm lift it, okay? Not fingertip lift, palm lift. Okay, why is that? Because you've got a, a larger contact area with the pot, so you're not going to indent the pot. Okay, right, I'll put him over there. Now, and next we've got to make the lid. I'll show you how to do that. Little piece of clay, what do we got? You know, how much clay? That depends on the size of the lid, doesn't it? Uh, so, three ounces could be four, depends how wide you make the lid. Right. Let us... Small pieces of clay like this are not particularly easy to to center. <laughs> All right, so I've combed it and I know I've squashed it down, and now I'm flattening it out. Okay. Right now I'm going to break in. Now remember, don't go down too, too far so that you have a thin bottom. Let's get the camera in a touch. I want you to see this. Let's also bring it down a touch. Sorry folks for all this. Maybe that's too far down. I think that will do something like that. Let's lock the camera tripod about there. Okay. All right. Let's just take the. You see, we're already, already gone too wide. That's all right. I can correct that quite easily. Yeah, I think we were... So just in, inserting this part of the caliper into the mouth here of the 
the lid and that is at the moment that it's looking good all right I'm just going to use my throwing stick on the outside here You know, with, with pottery, we're not aiming to get an, en an engineering fit lid. Neither, on the other hand, do we want it to be unnecessarily sloppy. So usually when you make uh, pottery lids like this, there is some fitting up of the lids to do when you come to, yeah, that's about right, all right, yeah, when you come to put them together, there's usually always a little bit of fitting up to do, that's normal, okay. Okay, here we are, cut off wire again, and pull through. So. Now, to get this lid off, it is really rather important that you do clean the outside of it here with your throwing stick. Because I've got to use my fingertips now to get underneath and lift it and get those fingers walking underneath, you see. And now I can lift it off. I don't want to deform it more than is necessary. Okay, folks, there it is. That is the beginnings of... Now, this one is slightly, slightly different, but you get the picture. You get the picture. Oops, you don't, you don't get the picture, do you? <laughs> you weren't even in the picture. All right. There you have the beginnings of one of those. All right, so have a go. Have a go at doing one of those. As I say, this particular one is uh, 15 ounces. The body and the lid uh, I believe was about three and a half to four ounces. All right, so you could use that as a starting point. It, it's good practice for you because it, 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 it's a good thing to move on to do after making, learning how to do the cylinder. This is just changing a cylinder and making it into a little lidded caddy with a lid, okay? Go to my website, simonleachpottery.com. Um, we've got tools up there. Not many pots. But yeah, I've got pots. I need to just photograph them and load them up there and get them up there. That's what I should do. I get lazy. <laughs> I don't know, maybe other people find it the same, but having to do the Etsy you know, ph photographing everything, measuring it, weighing it, sizing it up, all the rest of it. Now I'm getting it plastered with clear here. Um, you know, I don't know, I just, I, I procrastinate about it. I don't, I don't do it as I ought to. But I ought to do it more, and I will. I've got a bunch of pots downstairs ready to go up there. Okay, folks, there it is. Have a go at doing one of these. Okay, remember, I have a leech treadle wheel. Also, we do have workshops. I've got a workshop in September and in November. Maybe October as well. I can't, I can't remember. Check the website for dates. And um, it's my plan to go ahead with these, okay? As well as that, we are offering Zoom Clay. Details are on the website. Check it out. Thanks for joining me, folks. Keep practicing. Hang on in there. It's all about practice, you see. I'll see you soon. Bye for now.